Hey, what's up, Musers? Uh, this is John with uh, muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. Um, yes, I am still here. I know it's been probably close to a year since I posted a video, maybe eight to nine months. Um, but I just wanted to make a quick video to let you know where I'm at with everything, uh, what's going on with muse for You, and my new projects. Uh, so first and foremost, um, I didn't make a video when I launched my new website, which was uh, July 14th of uh, last year. Um, I was just tweaking a few things and I started working on my other project. So I just sent out an email to pretty much all my subscribers, letting them know about the new site. But um, I'll now go over it in this video tutorial. Um, basically, uh, this is it here. It's a uh, museforyoushop.com. Um, if you're used to how it looked like before, this might be a bit different. Um, in all my previous video tutorials as well, um, I kind of referenced the old site, but I did want something a bit more professional um, with Muse for You and kind of a funny story. I didn't know Muse was going to stop development, and you know I was building this site with the excitement of offering this new um, kind of system and this new website. I still decided to launch it because I feel it's it's a lot more professional. Uh, than what I had before. It was designed and built by brightbrightgreat.com. They're an amazing uh, web development agency and design agency in Chicago. So definitely check them out. But yeah, this is the new website here. The subscription did go up uh, to 49 a year just because I'm offering so many templates. Um, I am still offering a template every month. Um, I'm not making as many widgets and that's because I've started a new, pro a new project that I'll showcase in this tutorial. But I'll quickly go over the new site here. So we have widgets. Um, you can view all the widgets. And um, we'll just go to that. So the covers are a bit different, um, but you can search. Like if you're used to the cover looking a specific way, you can search for the widget up here in the search bar. But basically, the widgets now, um, the covers look like this. And one thing I did do was with any widgets that I felt needed updating or weren't working as good as I'd like them to work, I actually removed them. So if you don't find a widget, it's probably because it needed to be updated and I didn't feel like I wanted to offer it in the shop. So these are all the widgets here. Uh, there's about 100 widgets. And yeah, so those are the widgets. Um, then we have the templates. So. I've been adding a template about every month, so there's about 16 templates now, um, and they're, you know, they're full websites that you can use for your projects. So there's actually actually almost 20 uh, templates now. There's 19 here. Um, so yeah, I've been posting the templates. If you're a subscriber, you've received, um, you received an email every time there's a new template. Um, you know, there hasn't, there have been drop-offs in my subscription base, but that's to be expected with the news about Muse. Um, I'm not sad about it or anything like that. Um, I, I'm not in this just to run a business, right? Like that's not my intent with, with everything that I provide or the content or the widgets and templates. I'm here to provide um, the idea of building awesome websites, you know, like that's first and foremost my goal. And that's why I started working on a new project, um, which I'll get to in a second. Um, so yeah, there's templates, there's tutorials um, where you can watch the videos right on the website. Uh, these are the latest about the different templates I've released and you can just go through and watch um, the tutorials here. So yeah, if there's a there's a widget that, um, that you can't find because the cover is different, like for instance, if you're looking for the light box, just type in the light box in the search and it'll show up here. We have the widget and there's new demos as well for each widget that explains how to use the widget. So here's the widget page. Um, you can go through the different uh, images and description of the widget. You can watch the tutorial and you can view uh, the demo. Um, the demos are a bit more in depth now where they explain how to use the actual widget in the demo. All right, so yeah, it's uh, to me it's, it's much better than what I had before. I know a lot of users like the fact that the discuss section was at the bottom, um, but yeah, this is the the widget here. Um, there is still the discuss uh, section where you can, um, let me just 
Let's reload it here. There's the discuss section at the bottom where you can ask a question about the widget and it should load here. Um, but yeah, it'll just take a moment to load, but you can still ask me questions um, about the widget. There's the contact section, which is to me a lot better. You can now uh, ask me a question with the contact form and yeah, it's just much easier to, to get in contact or you could send me an email at support at um, There's hosting. So if you're looking for a host because you know Business Catalyst is no longer available, um, I recommend bluehost.com. And yeah, so you can go through the site. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Here are the more, the more popular widgets and you can download Adobe Muse right from the site. Just click download Adobe Muse and it'll take you to the the um, the installation for for Muse. It's no longer in the Creative Cloud, so you can download it directly from my site. All right, um, I think that's pretty much it. We have the widgets, tutorials, templates, the about page, hosting, and here is the new project that I'm really excited about, and it's the Webflow project. So after Muse um, announced the um, end of development in March of last year. Um, I quickly started looking for other uh, platforms to to offer to Muse users. And for anyone who's into like the whole, you know, web development community and the whole visual web development, um, you've probably seen um, the video by Webflow where, you know, they talked about if you if you've used Muse, here is Webflow and the different the different things they offer. So I started playing with Webflow and it was like night and day for me. Um, everything that I've wanted to do in Muse, Webflow allowed me to do easily. And I just took off with it. I started building projects. I started seeing what I could offer to the Muse community. And um, it was just night and day. Like, like I had mentioned in that first video where I talked about, you know, when, when Muse first announced the end of development, um, Webflow was everything that I wanted Muse to become. But since Muse ended development, I just switched to Webflow. And because I was so loyal to Muse, I never actually checked out Webflow. But once I did, I was, I was just amazed. Um, it was everything that I've ever wanted in a visual web development platform. So you can read this here, the new Webflow project. Um, it is webdevforyou.com, and I'll quickly go to it. It has the same design as the Muse for You shop uh, design, and uh, the design was by uh, Bright Bright Great, but I rebuilt the entire thing in Webflow within like a week. Um, so this is it here. This is webdevforyou.com. Um, so about Web Dev for You, um, I provide daily interactions pretty much every weekday. So they're, they're the equivalent to widgets pretty much, um, except they're free and I'm providing one pretty much every day. So right now I have um, about 120 and I'll showcase that in a second. So those are the daily interactions. Um, I do have tutorials. I created a new YouTube channel. Uh, called Web Dev for You, and I'll leave it in the description below. So if you liked my Muse uh, videos, <laughs> videos definitely check out um, what the Web Dev for You YouTube channel. Um, so this is it here. Uh, these are tutorials. I go over how to create different animations and interactions in Webflow. Um, so yeah, we have tutorials and the products that I offer for Webflow. Um, I have premium content which showcase how to implement like external code into Webflow. So like the different widgets that I offered for Muse, um, about nine of those or eight or nine of those, I showcase how to add into Webflow. Um, there's also one-on-one. -on -one, so if you need help with your Webflow website, you can get in contact with me and I can help with your Webflow website. Um, I currently, um, yeah, I became a template developer for Webflow and I currently have two templates available um, here on my website. You can check those out. You, it takes you directly to the Webflow template website. All right, I'll let you check those out there. And then we have the Slack channel, so you can become part of the Web Dev for You community um, for four ninety nine a month, where we talk about the daily interactions. And if you need help implementing them into your Webflow website, um, you can get help in the Web Dev for You uh, Slack channel. 
All right, so here's the about as well. Um, here are a few other resources as well. Uh, yeah, where there's different resources on Webflow. One resource um, that I highly recommend, and one thing that I didn't cover a lot when I created my content for Muse was, I didn't cover a lot about design, right? Most of it was widgets. Um, so since then, I've actually taken this course myself. It's Learn UI Design uh, by Eric Kennedy, and it's like the best UI design course on the web. Like if you, if you want to get more into design, I highly, highly recommend this course. Even if you're still using Muse, definitely take this course to learn more about UI design. It's just a, a really great course. Okay, so there's different resources there. There's the FAQ. Um, and then here I explain why uh, I decided to use Webflow over other platforms. Um, then there's a contact where you can get in touch with me. Um, and there's join where you can join the web dev for you community. So I just wanted to showcase that. I'll showcase a few interactions. Um, they're literally like widgets. Um, you know, you can just like, yeah, clone them and use them in your own project. So here's one where we have like this 3D effect. Um, here's this other one, you know, menu item animations um, and different animations like this. So there's 120, I'm not gonna go through all of them because that would take a long time, but you can clone them by clicking clone here um, in the demo. Um, here's the Learn UI Design course. You can go to the course, there's templates. This will take you to the web dev for you templates. And the tutorials will take you to the web dev for you YouTube channel. All right, so yeah, that's my new project. I'm super excited about it. I have been working on it uh, since the announcement of Muse. Um, so I don't want you to think that I've just kind of like not been doing anything or like, you know, dismissed the whole idea of providing um, content for you to help build uh, websites without code. Um, the, yeah, Webflow is a different price structure, so you can check it out on their website, webflow.com. Uh, and I'll just go to it really quick. And yeah, it's just the most amazing web design and development platform I've ever seen. And since I started using it, they've added things like e-commerce, uh, CSS grid, and just all these other performance improvements and, and, um, and additions to, to the, to the, the program. So yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at right now with everything. Uh, I do apologize for taking this long to kind of communicate with everyone. Um, it's a lot of, it's just me trying to figure out, you know, what's next for, um, the content I provide and what's next for me for you. And you know, what's next for web dev for you as well. One thing that I didn't mention earlier was that, um, I wasn't able to transfer previous subscribers from the send owl system to this new system here so if you did subscribe before july 14th 2018 um, your subscription can still be accessed from the emails um, that are sent whenever there's a new template or from that first email that you received when you subscribed but again if you subscribe before july 14th 2018 your subscription can be accessed from the send owl emails that are sent from um, from the muse for you subscription um, so just wanted to mention that really quick. So for Muse for You, uh, there is a new website. Um, I am providing a template uh, every month, and uh, thanks for all of you who who decided to stay subscribed. Um, with that said, um, I highly recommend checking out Webflow. Again, I'm not here just to run a business. I'm here to stay up to date with the current um, technologies of web design and development. And um, that's why I decided to create WebDev for You. Muse for You is still, uh, still very much alive, and all you know, you can download Muse from, from my website here. And if you just want to make a quick website and you find Muse really easy, you can still use it, and you can still use uh, my widgets at museforyoushop.com. You can use the templates for a quick website, and yeah, and just uh, use something like Bluehost to host your website. So yeah, I'm. Um, uh, excited to, to hear from you. Um, sorry about the noise there in the background. Um, you know, it's been uh, some time, but yeah, that's where everything is at. And thanks everyone. Um, I'm really excited about, uh, still, still excited about Muse for You and super excited about Web Dev for You and the things that I'll be providing for that project. All right, so that is the end of this video. Um, I might make an, a few other videos kind of 
with maybe other things I want to mention, but just wanted to make this quick video about the new website where I'm at with everything and the new web dev for you project. All right. Thanks everyone for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.